All right, guys, I keep getting these in my mailbox. You guys keep sending them in and uh, just got an assortment of them here. These are all different types of lever locks. And uh, I, I know why you guys are sending them in. I mean, they look weird. They got some alien technology look about them, but these are not really that difficult. Think of it as an extension of the lock picking hobby. I mean, I know we all like picking pin tumblers and this is what came before. So they're, we got to figure these guys out too. And I got to tell you, they're a lot of fun and they're not really that difficult. And they, in fact, they take very little skill to get open. Let me show you and that way maybe you can save some posters. You're not going to be sending these things to me anymore. I've got a bunch of them. Most of these, I think I got three Yales and some other ones. Um, this one is kind of neat. It's a, I have no keys to any of these guys and for some reason they always seem to come with no keys. Pretty interesting old Yale, just beautiful patina on this thing. No key. Um, so what I'm going to do, you, you want to get yourself a piece of wire and I got a bunch of them here. Let's try this guy. One that you can fit kind of into the keyway. The problem here is that we have a center post and that they do that on purpose and that's to prevent us from, <clears throat> excuse me, from getting inside of there. So let's take a look at the lock itself so we know where not to waste our time. You notice the pin for the shackle is right here. It's going to spring open that way. The other big plus is that most of these are spring-loaded, so we don't need to tension them. They're going to be self-tensioning, making our job just that much easier. All right, pin here, so there's not going to be anything. No release mechanism is ever going to be on this side. It's either going to, and of course not on the bottom, it's either going to be on the left or it's going to be on the top underneath that Yale symbol right there. And all you got to do is just take a piece of wire, just jam it in there, and just feel around. And right away, I can feel there's something on the left, and he doesn't want to rotate any further around the top. So let's work from the left. So watch this, this well-developed technique. All I'm going to do is jam the wire in there. I'm going to wedge it up against that center post, and then I'm just going to start monkeying around. Now these guys are usually no more than four levers. We don't have to tension them because they have a spring-loaded shackle. So we just keep messing around with those levers, popping them up, and because of self-tension, you're going to eventually pick them in the right sequence. I'm trying to do this through the camera. Come on. I can feel them yielding. Okay, look at that. It opened part way. So we know we're there. We're either that or this little guy has a false gate. And then just keep jamming the wire in and monkeying around and you're going to get it eventually. So I would picked all the levers except probably that last one. I just hit it and we got an open. And this is probably the most complex lock of everything that we have here. These little guys, this is a, a Yale 456. And let me line them up. This one's different. Notice this one had a post in the center, again, to prevent us from getting access. This little guy here has got a curtain, but it doesn't matter. We're going to take basically the same wire. Now again, we got the pin here. I'm not going to waste any time on that side. So let's just put it in like a key. In fact, let me find a little smaller wire. Mm, how about this little guy right here? See if we'll fit. Yeah. And then I'm just going to rotate, and already I've hit something. I'm just going to start monkeying around until I think it opened. I think that opened. Um, let me put the probe under here. I think this is damaged. Yeah, he was, this is a little bit damaged, a little bit screwed up there. So that was open. So pretty quick open on the 453. Let's check out this little door lock. Now this one's real cheap. And again, you're going to make a quick decision. Cheap metal, wide open keyway. You can look inside of there and you can see there's really underneath this thin layer of tin, there's not a lot in there. You're going to have a lot of room to work around. So I'm going to say grab probably one of your longer pieces of wire. And again, we're going to start just like it's the key. See if I can fit them in there. And then just start feeling around. There's nothing on the left. Okay, there's something there on the top, though. And there you go. Two levers. Nothing to it. Dorla. All right, let's take a look at this little guy. Uh, another Yale. These are usually pretty good. Maybe I, I should just, no, we'll, we'll come back. No, let's get him. Um, again, we have a little curtain, a little spinner. Let me spin him around so we can get this piece of wire in there. And see if he'll fit. He's a little bit big. Let's try. 
I don't know. Is that any shorter? Yeah, it's a little shorter. All right. So just start feeling around. There's nothing on the left. I don't feel anything on the left. Okay, it's at the top. I feel at the top. And I'm basically forcing it. Okay, where'd you go? This wire may not be long enough. Okay, I heard a click. So maybe it's more than one lever. Okay, there's something that spring loaded. I can see the shackle moving. And something getting caught right there. All right, let's get a longer wire. Uh, where do you go? Let's try this guy. If I can get him in there. He doesn't even want to fit. How about this guy? There we go. So I just need a slightly longer wire to get up that up towards that actuator. This one's got what appear to be two levers. So not nearly as complex as I thought. And last but not least, you guys have seen these before, or one very much like it. It's an MW. Um, this one is called a secure lever, but the idea being it's a split key. You got this, again, and you got some weirdness here, designed to keep us out and kind of freak us out a little bit, saying, oh, I can't pick that. But, again, there's your pin. This is probably empty on this side, so we're going to start, and nothing on the bottom. So let's see what we got here. Use that same wire. Again, that spinner is doing exactly what he's supposed to do. I'm just wedging up against something inside of that spinner, and I'm just trying to push it out of the way. Let's get a little shorter wire. This may be a little bit long. Try this guy. And he's probably too short. There's something right there. It doesn't want to go past it. So I would be willing to bet that's an actuator. I'm going to put him in there like that. And just kind of lever him in there and push that thing out of our way. Maybe. Try a different wire. Try this. Hmm, got too many wires laying around here. Try this guy. All right, whatever it is, I'm going to push it out of the way and then manipulate from there. Maybe. Nope, don't want to play. There's definitely something right there on the bottom. I'm going to try to wedge it from the side. Again, I'm forcing it. And there we go. All right. I'll bet it starts right right about there. Let's put it up here. Let's relock it. Find out where that stops. Right there. So the entire lever is right along there. So the key, it's a really strong spring. So that key just shoves that lever out of the way. And you can see it right there. Anyway, it doesn't take a brainiac to pick these things. They, they are not that difficult. They're fun to figure out. They're all just very slightly different. Anywhere from like no levers or actually the release lever to maybe four levers, but because they're all spring-loaded, as you saw, they all pop right open. Self-tensioning makes our job so much easier. Anyway, guys, stop sending these to me. Appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Start collecting these things. If only they had keys. Thanks, guys.